Hey there, folks. Today I'm going to talk to you about nudity. See, I think our taboo against nudity is, nudity is just dumb. I really don't see why there's, there's any why there be any reason to have indecent exposure laws. People seem to think that seeing another person's genitals will somehow harm them, especially apparently children, because you know. There's no other way that children can see genitals except for, you know, looking down while they're in the bath. And, uh, so, I, you know, I mean, I've never been particularly, um, body shy. I mean, obviously I keep myself clothed in public because I don't want to go to jail or frighten people. But, uh... And I, I have no nothing particularly against clothes. I don't feel like my clothes are some kind of trap, uh, or, or like they're the chains of oppression or something like that. So I can't quite call myself a nudist. Uh, but I, uh, if I had my way, we'd get rid of indecent exposure laws. It would be, you know, clothing optional everywhere. And, uh, for, for a large part, uh, things would just take care of themselves. I mean, if you think that somehow, you know, society would fall apart because we'd all be just gawking at each other's genitals all the time, think of it like this. Do you currently stare at people's scratches? No, of course not. It would be rude. That's how it'll be in the nude future. You, you will just not look. I mean, sure, everyone's going to be a little distracted for the first couple of weeks. But my prediction is we'd all get used to it extremely fast. And we'd wonder what the hell we, we, we made such a fuss about it about. The, uh... The future would be a, a, a kinder place. Sorry, I spaced out there for a second. Uh, and, uh, we look back at our, our prudish past and just go, just, like, like, like we're looking back at the Victorian age with people wearing heavy layers of clothing and everything like that. And, of course, for a large part, this sort of takes care of itself, at least in a lot of the world. I mean, no one's going to walk around naked in the winter, except for a few loons, uh... In, 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 you know, in most places. In more tropical areas, nudity, nudity can happen pretty much all the time. Except possibly the rainy season. But what the hell. And, uh, you know, uh, just because something is, is legal doesn't mean everyone will do it. My guess is, if we were to, to do what I want to do and, and just get rid of all the indecent exposure laws... Uh, you, you know, you, you if you walk down a busy street, you'd see, you know, two or three naked people per block. And either you wouldn't care, or if you did care, you'd, you'd learn to just block it out. It's really that simple. All you have to do is, you know, you, you learn to sort of process it, you know. Your 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 preconscious mind recognizes. Oh, naked person, don't look in that direction. I mean, we do that with all kinds of things already. You know, things that are right there. So theoretically, we can see them, but we either don't want to see them because they're unpleasant, or we don't want, or we simply don't want to be distracted. So we did it right out. I honestly believe this. I believe that we could just get rid of indecent exposure laws. And every, anything else, you know, any other naked and public type laws. And, uh, you know, after a couple of weeks of adjustment, it'd be business as usual. That's all I've got to say for today, folks. Uh, I'll see all of you nice people tomorrow. Bye-bye.